These days there are new diseases that are challenging us as gardeners and as nature lovers actually and we're here today to talk about one of the great threats that is encompassing eastern woodlands and it's the emerald ash borer. Dean's going to share with us how he helps his customers deal with this terrible problem. Hi Dean. Hey there, how are you? I'm well, except for I'm, it's so sad about this problem, but uh, explain, first off, how did this come to be? How did we get, uh, what is the emerald ash borer? The emerald ash borer is an insect that was brought over on a pallet, most likely from Asia, they say. Well, it's uh, an over Asian into, bug, yeah. Right, yeah, for, it was brought over in the wood on a pallet, and that, that's basically how it gets moved now yeah. where we are. It gets moved in firewood and things of that nature. So humans are the, right. the genesis right. of the problem, basically. Right. We brought them over, and now they're here. They wiped out all the street trees in Michigan. We've been waiting on this bug since 02. We've been hearing and reading about it. and all. Let's talk about what this bug does. The bug actually flies in. It lays its eggs in the bark. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the eggs all hatch, the larvas tunnel underneath the bark and they begin to do like galleries, like serpentine Little zigzags. Chewing tunnels, yeah. Right, and it gets into the floam, which is part of the direction of the nutrients and, and water. It's, it's how, how the tree, the tree gets, gets, it. gets, right. gets its so, food, yeah. So then if, it, if they're in there working, the, the bark will begin to buckle. Um, you'll start to see diebacks in the crown. And the very we, tip of the tree first right. shows the problem, right? Correct, yeah. and, we, and we call that flagging. That's what yeah. I call it yeah. anyhow. And um, you'll see that that's where the nutrients aren't making it. They're, okay. they're, they're blocking off the nutrients. Now, explain, there. this isn't just part of the tree dying, right? The entire tree will go down with this pest. Well, this pest is 100% mortality rate. Ugh. It's 100%, there's no stopping it unless you do start the regimen of injecting your trees or using some type of a product that's out there. This is one of the most common eastern woodland trees. I mean, it's, it's like chestnut blight. It could just take exactly. out vast quantities of our eastern woodlands. It's going to. It's scary. So let's talk about what can you do? Well, first thing you need to do is probably call an arborist, a certified arborist, to make sure that you get the right person out there right. to look at the trees and identify the trees. Right. Once the trees are, identi are identified, we'll be able to tell you the risk factor of each tree and the health of them. If you have a big historical ash tree, you know, you probably want to save it if it's on your property. Right. If you have numerous amounts of ash trees, then I'm going to tell you the ones that are worthy and right. the ones that aren't worthy of saving because they are going to die if you don't treat them. So basically consider them gone unless you do something. Correct. Then another thing you need to remember is ash tree wood becomes very brittle very quickly. So anything over like 10 to 15% crown dieback. It can fall going, on your house. Well, yes, and that's the other reason you need to hire a certified arborist to do the removals. Yeah. They're gonna be able to work it safely down and dismantle the tree's property. There's been a lot of people getting killed throughout our colleagues I've talked to that are up north right. that have dealt with this. They actually have laws in place now. Wow. So so people aren't getting killed. And, yeah. and, and, and you know, there's just a lot to this. So when you start to see the crown that has no leaves and it's really thinning at the very tips and moving around, you're gonna know that that tree's most likely infested. And it takes one to three years before you even know that the bug's in there. Okay. That's why this year is critical that we get the product in the trees now while the trees are flushing. This is the most important year for Davidson County. 2018. Yes. Because the bug's been here long enough to really be starting right. to have it's, it's starting to show itself, that's okay. right. I see. Well, there's some new products that are out that have two-year residuals okay. now. And sometimes they say if you get started now and start using imamectin benzoate, if yeah. you start using that now, okay. you can get up to four years and residual. And is this injected into the tree or how is this applied? Well, we, we inject them in yeah. the trees. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't really like to put anything in the soil. Yeah. I would rather put it right into the wood. Well, and you get faster uh, distribution through the tree. It's a quicker tree. uptake. Yeah. We don't yeah. have to be so concerned about our water. Yeah, and, and it leaching there's into enough, things. And, there's right. enough chemical things going on. But there are homeowner products as well. Right. You can buy at your local hardware store that's made that you can use. And I don't suggest using those after like 15 dBH, meaning diameter at breast height. Yeah, that's about four feet above ground, folks. If, you, if it's more than 15 inches in diameter of the tree, get an arborist to do this. Not, Correct. Not, don't do it yourself because you probably won't be able to do it effectively. Right, and spend your money once is yeah, what I say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, so, and you can get some pretty long-term 
you're saying several years worth of protection. Once you get the imamectin benzoate in, in the tree, it seems to have a longer residual. I would, yeah. I would follow directions for a few years as we keep monitoring how this product right. is working. Right. But it seems to be the best bang for your buck. And it does give complete protection, but you have to catch it before the tree shows signs of illness. Well, In other, other words, you have to treat what seem to be healthy trees. Right, exactly. Yes. You yeah. want to get going on it yeah. now. Once I've got it's all sick, my customers. It's over. You can't, all you can't my get... clients have already been through with yes. most of them yeah. and told them the ones that are worthy and ones that aren't. And here's the yep. ones we're going to put on a regimen. Right. And as they go, this is how we remove them. I right. mean, you have to have a plan. Right. So if you've got ash trees, folks, and you want to save your ash trees, Now's the time, and it's a it's a basically it's kind of it's a systemic insecticide that you're putting into the tree, correct? That's I mean, correct. Yeah, a chemical, it goes right into the flow, right into the bloodstream, if you will, of the tree, and but that's what it takes to protect. And and the one thing else I want to point out is is. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people starting tree services. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And, and that's where you have to be really careful. Make sure you call the right people. Someone that's a certified arborist has the insurance. Right. There's so many things that can go wrong, and right. you want to make sure you're protected by right. who you hire and who you right. contract out with. And there is that whole certification process that, that you go through as an arborist to become a certified arborist that ensures that you know what you're doing. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. So. That's a good point. And follows all the safety standards right. and everything. We take care of our, our, our employees and just like we do our clients. Right, that's great. Well, thank you, Dean, so much for all this incredibly helpful information. And it breaks my heart that there's another disease wiping out one of our major woodland trees. It's know. gonna be a big deal. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're in the ash tree belt. Yeah, so we it, are. As people drive down the road every year from now on, after every spring starts to pop yeah, up, we're going to see more and more dead trees. Yeah. And this is why. Those are the ash trees that are dying. Oh, so. it's so sad. Louisville sluggers. Yep. Baseball right. bats are made out of this tree, folks. <laughs> it's a sad thing, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.